Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome to another video. I'm sorry this one's a little bit late. Um, I had a busy weekend. Um, like that's just gone so I didn't really have a chance to film a video but I've got a couple of days off now which is so nice because work's just so stressful and busy at the minute and my mood's a bit like fluctuating so it's been hard to kind of do anything so I'm just having a little chill. Um, today's video is on autism special interests. I have made a video on special interests probably about a year or two years ago now so it is a little bit outdated but I've had a lot of requests recently to do videos on special interests, what my special interests currently are, if they've changed um, and just what special interests are in general. So obviously majority of people or a lot of people in life have hobbies and they have interests and um, these form like a big part of your leisure time and some people even make a career out of it. Um, the difference between normal hobbies and interests compared to autistic special interests is that um, people with autism tend to intensify the interest more and are more sort of focused on it so it tends to take up more of their life or um, the special interest isn't typical for the person's age. So back when, um, before I was diagnosed, when I was researching into autism, it's apparently noted that girls with autism tend to have more typical special interests than boys that are on the spectrum. So girls tend to be, have similar interests to those of their peers, which is why it's not as noticeable. Whereas boys will be a little bit like not typical and then that's why people are kind of questioning it. Um, in terms of my own experiences, when I was growing up, my, and it's always been like this, it still kind of is now, my interest in something fluctuates, um, but it's very intense. So for like a couple of months, I could be so, so, so focused and so intensively obsessed with something like an object or um, a particular topic or whatever and do loads of research into it, know everything about that topic and then suddenly I just won't be interested anymore. Um, that's kind of been there my whole life. Um, growing up as a child, my special interests were varies. One, one of my biggest um, special interests as a child was Sylvanian families. I'm not sure if um, some of you will know what that is. I don't know how sort of big of a thing it is. But um, I had a room that was dedicated specifically to Sylvanian families and I would spend like pretty much every day, all day up there when I wasn't in school or whatever. Um, I wouldn't play with them as such, like I had a whole sort of village um, set out but I wouldn't play role play um, with them. I would kind of just um, set them up into like scenes and just move them around and move the houses around or whatever, it wasn't really playing. Um, I also was really obsessed with dolls, um, just toy dolls or whatever, would like to, um, I had like a spot under the stairs for them, um, as again I wouldn't really play with them as such but I would copy behaviour from other people and how they would play with dolls or how mothers interact with their children and then kind of do that, that sort of same thing, that was my whole sort of playing as a child anyway it was always scripted from other people and copied behavior which is what girls on the spectrum tend to do but it actually looks like play so it tend autism tends to be missed in that aspect um but moving on now i don't have a special interest of slovenian families anymore um i did grow out of that i have still got all of my slovenian families at my mum's house our house is not big enough at the minute for me to bring them over here but that's something I'd like like to pass down to our children for them to play with the Sylvanian families. Um, the doll special interest is kind of still relevant. I don't play with like children's toy dolls um, as such. But when I was in secondary school I had a reborn baby who I've now sold. Um, and I have a silicone baby boy as you know from my recent videos and a reborn baby girl i'm also waiting to get a full bodied silicone baby boy from spain um and a custom made reborn boy being made by a well-known artist and then that'll be my collection um but reborns are definitely one of my special interests now i don't play with them i don't role play with them some people do role play with them like feeding them and things like that 
I don't do that. Um, they basically sit upstairs in the spare room um, and I like to change their outfits and I like to practice my photography on like on them and things like that. I like to hold them, I like the feel of them, I like the sensory aspect. Um, my other special interest is the Gruffalo. Um, this is not a typical age appropriate interest which what makes it more sort of an autistic special interest rather than a normal um, special interest. The Gruffalo is a children's book that was aimed at toddlers. Um, I don't know why the Gruffalo is a special interest of mine. It has been for many years now. Um, something about it just makes me very, very excited, very happy. Um, I like going to like Gruffalo trails and sculptures around the UK. Um, when I'm having a meltdown, the Gruffalo movie, I think it's like half hour long, um, really like calms me down and helps me. Just anything associated with Gruffalo makes me happy. Basically, I don't know why, but there we go. And my last special interest currently that has been for probably two years now are dinosaurs. I have a really big obsession with dinosaurs. Our whole house is covered in dinosaurs. We have a big dinosaur T-Rex sculpture on top of the TV unit. We have a like a anatomy version of a T-Rex, like you can see all the organs and stuff on the window. I have six dinosaur figures over on the window. I have a Lego Triceratops here, a Triceratops that walks and moves um, there. We also have Lego, like the three Lego skeleton dinosaurs, um, loads of dinosaur books, dinosaur posters, um, literally every everything in this house is just dinosaurs to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'd say those are my three special interests at the minute. They haven't really changed um, for a couple of years. The Reborns is just something I'm getting back into now, but that's been a special interest all my life um really um yeah it'd be interesting to see what your special interests are and what you think about autistic special interests and how they differ from other people you know that aren't on the spectrum um i do find it interesting they're not obsessions um as such because for it to be classed as an obsession, it has to kind of affect your daily life and get in the way of your life. And at the minute, I don't think my special interests do that. It's not something that I'm constantly obsessing over or thinking about. But um, like I said, I do become fixated on topics quite intensely and I move on from those quite quickly. I'm not sure if they're special interests or that's just like a personality sort of trait. But yeah, it would be interesting to see what you think um about special interests and how they relate to your autism please put some video requests and topics down in the comments from this video because i am running out of video ideas and in order for me to make a video each week i need to have requests so please 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 put those in the comments i hope you have a good week and to end this video i'll show you my guinea pigs because they're currently out we've moved them outside now um in a hutch with like a really nice cover and things on them so i've brought them inside whilst i'm off today to have some run around and some spend some time with them so i'll show you them because i know some people like seeing the guinea pigs but here they are enjoying their little playtime so you've got here oh this is for uh, there's airy Aspen is sleeping in the little hut. Odin's in the background. He's our only male. I don't know why it's zooming in so much. Odin's our only male. Mia is at the back with the, like the brown on her. Um, her and Aerie at the front here are our smallest and youngest guinea pigs. They're very noisy. Ira's at the back. She's white or white. Um, in this little hutch there we have Astrid. She's our very um, fluffy Peruvian guinea pig. Who's in here? That's Miss Ivy. Hi, Ivy. Ooh. They're all eating their hay at the minute. <laughs> I haven't got any food. But yeah, we have eight piggies. So Mia, Odin, Aspen, Thora, Astrid, Airy, Ivy. Did I say Era? But yeah, here they all are. <laughs> Coming to say hi. But they're so cute. They're just noisy. <laughs> They're just noisy. Noisy. They're so noisy. I haven't got any food. I'll have to get them some pea flakes. They've had like loads of veg and stuff this morning already. So I don't know why they're so so hungry. <laughs> but yeah. 
Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Hope you have a good week and I'll see you soon. Bye!